Today, we're going to be talking about a brand new kernel debugging tool that's going to provide us a lot of detailed insights into debugging issues with physical memory on Linux systems. This is great for developers, and I'm super excited for this tool. It's called Page Detective. This is a new kernel debugging tool that provides detailed information about the usage and mapping of the physical memory pages and has been recently introduced to us by Pasha here. It is often known that a particular page is corrupted, but it is hard to extract more information about such a page from a live system. Examples include checksum failure during live migration, file system journal failure, dump page warnings on console log, and unexpected seg faults. So what this tool is going to do for us is it's gonna help extract more information from the kernel so that it can be used by developers to get the root cause of associated problems. And we get an explanation on how it works, but first let's talk about what a memory page is. For those of you unfamiliar, a page, or better known as a memory page, some call it virtual page, is a fixed length continuous block of virtual memory described by a single entry in a page table. You can see an example of a page table here, which is just a data structure used by virtual memory in a computer to store mappings between virtual addresses and physical addresses. It is the smallest unit of data for memory management in an operating system that uses virtual memory. Similarly, a page frame is the smallest fixed length continuous block of physical memory into which memory pages are mapped by the operating system. A transfer of pages between the main memory and an auxiliary store, such as hard disk drive, is referred to as paging or, or swapping, which many of us have probably heard of, these two things at least. Now I understand this is probably confusing, well it's a confusing topic, but a better explanation is here. Computer memory is divided into pages so that the information can be found more quickly. And that's really it. A breakdown continues here with the concept is named by analogy of pages in a printed book. If a reader wanted to find, for example, the 5,000th word in the book, they could count from the first word. This of course would be time consuming. It would be much faster for the reader to have a listing of how many words are in each page from the listing. They could determine where the page with the 5,000th word appears on and how many words to count on that page. And this is how the listing of words per page of a book is analogous to the, the page table of a computer file system. But we also need to understand that there are multiple page sizes. And what is Page Detective gonna do here? Well, it's a kernel level tool that's gonna be integrated into the Linux operating system. And it's gonna give us in-depth information about those physical memory pages. It interfaces through two primary files. One's called vert or virtual file and the other one's phys or physical file. So we'll be better able to find what process ID and what corresponding physical page for that process. So we can look at a specific page of memory which hopefully give us critical details such as the page reference count, mappings, flags, memory control group, and its presence in the kernel page table. So you might be asking yourself, why is this important? We're gonna get into that in a moment, but let's talk about multiple page sizes because you gotta understand that each architecture has a small and a large page size limit. So depending on what architecture you use, you do have varying different page sizes. For example, IA32 here uses at the lowest four kilobytes, same with the x86-64, which a majority of us use. And you can see here the larger page sizes are only two megabytes versus four megabytes above. But when you have a special flag, then you can get up to a gigabyte of page size. For those of you interested, you can definitely check this out. And you might be asking why page sizes are important. Well, you can see how they can get quite large. So it might be very hard to go through paging memory across architectures. That's another compelling use case for this new utility page detective because they can identify where the affected page is, retrieve detailed information, help you diagnose the issue and resolve quicker in a traditionally very hard place to debug like memory. This is gonna help people with checksum failures, file system journal failures, warnings that get triggered inside of our kernel. And of course, the notorious unexpected segmentation faults. We can now hopefully trace the faulty pages leading to the memory that caused our applications to crash unexpectedly. And it brings a lot of benefits to Linux users as well as Linux developers in particular. Back to the original post here, we'll continue to talk about Page Detective and why it's so great as it fills a crucial gap in the Linux memory management offering by giving us uh, this advanced tool for debugging. Anyways, as mentioned, Page Detective helps to extract more information from the kernel so it can be used by developer to root cause the associated problem. It operates through the Linux debug file system interface with two files, virtual and physical. The virtual file takes virtual addresses and process IDs 
and outputs information about the corresponding page. So you get page information and the physical file takes a physical address and outputs information about that page. So you can get access to some memory. The output is presented via kernel logs that can be accessed via D message and includes information such as the pages reference count mapping flags and memory C group. It also shows whether the page is mapped in the kernel page table and if so, how many times. This is great and important information for us. I'm so happy to see the development of great tools like this that help kernel developers as well as other people in the open source community. It's great to get tools that deliver detailed insights into things like memory and can be a great resource for anyone tasked with maintaining the reliability and performance of Linux systems, aka the people who build and maintain the kernel. Hopefully, Page Detective is another great tool to add into the box for Linux users and devs alike, giving us greater system stability and enhancing the overall debugging of this open source code. Let me know what you think about fantastic tools like this. Also make sure to thank a developer for the time and commitment that they make to providing us with great tools and development like this. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.